Okay, first run for the machine. Um, I have no amp meters hooked up as of yet. Like I said, it's just the first run, so I um, thought I would do a short video on it and show you exactly what's happening here. The two caps you see here, the voltage doubler from the generator coils, and they go into a storage cap which will be driving this load here, being our light off an old four wheel motorbike. The cap at the moment has 0.8687 volts in it. I just wanted to show you that um, it does indeed generate so that's just to show you that it is a generator it is also a motor and it is also a transformer three in one job now the last machine I built with a similar setup uh, which some of you might know as the LAG the problem I had with that was when we switched the generator coils on the charge going back into the charge battery would drop right down um, so it was taking some of that charge away when we hooked the generator coils up um, this one I've wound a bit different to try and stop that and it's had the totally opposite effect in that um, this would be the fastest I've ever seen a battery charge in all my times that I've been playing around with these units this of course is our charge battery I will be running it on 24 volts because it seems to draw a lot less current and runs a whole lot smoother and um, battery voltage doesn't drop very much at all and the rest of the machine just seems to be a whole lot sweeter on 24 volts it's not going to rev very high because I have a very small gap between the stator and the rotor magnets which as you can see gives it a very hard cogging effect trying to start it from here is quite difficult so we will hook up our run battery now Yes, so you get sparks just because it's filling up these two caps here which I've put in as smoothing caps so we could use our amp meter but they're not big enough the meter jumps all over the place and I can't tell whether it's 10 milliamps or 200 26.7 volts in our two run batteries and 12.8 volts in our charge battery uh, like I said this meter here is just hooked up on this cap via the two lines that are going to our light I'm using an amp meter here just to come off the positive side to go to the positive side of our load here so once we're up and running I'll just hook that on there and we can watch what happens but I will let it run a little bit just so you can see how quickly it's charging our charge battery without the generator going and then I'll hook the generator up and we'll watch that battery again so we will see if we can get it to go like I said it's only going to be slow because um, it's pulling pretty hard on the stator or the core because I want to get a good generating effect um, so yeah very slow RPM not much torque there although it does have quite a bit for a pulse motor so as you can see the battery is climbing quite nicely there So it's quite quick. I have 
I'm actually seeing no battery go up that fast. This is a good battery. It's not a half junked out piece of rubbish. So what I'll do now is we'll hook up. You can hear a rumbly bearing in there. I'll hook up our load. Now that's going up very fast and that is the charge battery. We're also sending the generator is generating 100 milliamps 12.92 volts. As you can see our light is very very bright. This charge rate, I've never seen anything like this before. Now after a couple of minutes, the battery does start to get a bit warm. Along with that uh, clip there. So as you can see, at the speed that it's going up, I think it's um, a little too much. So there's a fair bit of um, current going into our charge battery. Now at the moment I don't have the cap dump setup working. I will be doing that tomorrow and I will be taking some of this charge that's going into this battery, pumping up the caps and sending it back to our run batteries. can of course speed it up. And when we speed it up run battery start to recover a bit because we're starting to eliminate that cogging effect and of course transistor is pulsing a lot quicker so it will draw less current I guess I do have a big mess over here I've been mucking around with a few different configurations and this seems to be the best at the moment. So what's happening in the generator coils is it's generating power from the magnets which are oriented north, south, north, south. So of course we get an AC voltage going through there. Um, it's also using the transformer effect in, when the run coils fire. It sends that pulse of power through the generator coils as well. And then of course, as per our standard SSG setup, we're also charging our charge battery. When I get it up to a certain speed, I can wind the pot right back down again and then start all over again, speeding it up. Now the other effect it has with the generator on is it has a fair bit of torque for a pulse motor.
Their battery run voltage seems to sit quite nice around 26. Even after 15 minutes, it's still sitting at 26. But as you can see, our charge battery charges really, really good. And of course, we're running that light as well. It's a 12 volt LED. It is on. DC direct current, no pulsing. So at the moment, for its first run, basic setup, it's doing very well. We'll try and put some, or uh, we'll find a bigger caps to smooth out the pulses so I can get um, an input on the amps. But, um, won't be too on too much because that uh, voltage in the run batteries isn't going down really quick. All three batteries are the same size. But this one definitely goes up as you can see a whole lot faster than those ones go down. That's where we're at. Like I said, tomorrow we will hook up the cap dump system and take some of this, which is a little too much for the battery. It is indeed getting warmer now, just after that short period of time. So this will probably be a good unit, charging some big car batteries that have died. But yes, we'll fit this tomorrow. Rob some of this current that's going to the charge battery, fill up some big caps, and we'll dump it back into the run batteries. How we go with that. But as far as the generator system is going, it's working very well. And as before, just connect the voltmeter. As before, it runs better with them hooked up. If I disconnect them, the motor dies down. Connect them back up, the motor picks up speed, which is totally opposite to what a generator would normally do. Okay, so um, I'll do another video for you guys tomorrow once I get all this set up. And by the time I'm finished there should be wires, caps and all sorts of crap everywhere. But for now, we're going to have some dinner and sit down and relax. Cheers from the 10 men.